Hey everyone, Arizona Kid here. What do we got for you today? We have a Honda Rancher 2020 600 mile review. You guys have probably been going, what happened to the Rancher? Well, nephew still rides it, barely. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do 600 mile review. But before we get to that, I wanted to talk real quick about the, the giveaway coming up. Uh, I am doing on, it will be March 15th. I will be doing the drawing. And if you get drawn, you'll get a Instagram message that you got drawn. If I have your address, I'll mail it. If I don't have your address, you'll get uh, asked for your address. If you don't want to give me your address, that's fine. I'll redraw that. I'll, I'll redraw another name and then we'll keep going on and on until they're all gone. So no big worries. And you guys probably going, how am I deciding who's getting drawn? I'm just going to go with who's ever on Instagram. Whoever follow me, follows me on Instagram, that's who's in the drawing. So uh, not a lot of people, but yeah. So you have till March 15th to jump in there and follow me on Instagram if you want to be part of the drawing. Now, what's what am I giving away on this one drawing? Uh, this hat right here, it's the only one I got right now. I have some more on order, but man, they're expensive. So I'm, I, I'll have more for the thousand mile giveaway. But for right now on this one, it's only one hat and then I did these uh, keychains. I thought they were pretty cool. They're Arizona Kid keychain, so you can use it for your UTV or your quad keychain. When you guys get these out in the mail, uh, th this one I put a little dab of super glue on just to make sure this little thing doesn't pop off. And then also on the on the front of this, it's going to look all blurry. It's just a piece of plastic. Peel it off, and then it'll be nice and shiny. So uh, yeah. So, yep, so just so you guys know, that'll be happening on the 15th, and you'll find out on Instagram if you are got drawn on it. Uh, eight keychains, and that's, I only bought 10. I'm sorry, I'll be honest, I'm keeping two, two for me. And then uh, the other eight I'm giving away to you guys, and then the one hat. I don't want to have a hat of my own that's my own hat. I keep giving you guys the hats away. So, uh, like I said, there'll be a bigger order coming for the thousand miles subscribers and also that Yankum rope on thousand, thousand miles, huh? <laughs> thousand subscribers. Uh, it'll be that big old Yankum rope too on the thousand subscribers that you guys can, uh, you guys will be getting, uh, raffled off might be the right word to use. I don't know. But, uh, and also, uh, oh man, I wrote it down. Ooh, you guys want to hold on a minute because I want to be able to say it right. So here I'm going to hit pause real fast. Hey everyone, just want to give a shout out to East Coast Outside Adventures. Guys, go check out his channel. It's a pretty nice channel. And uh, here we go with the review. All right, everybody, let's get to this review. This is a Honda 4x4 ES on it. Not a foot shift. It's the electronic shift system. A 600 mile review now the last time we took this thing out riding it was to the superstition ride and it got really super muddy on it and we actually ran into a problem with it and you can tell we haven't washed it my nephew hasn't been out here to wash it i could wash it for him but i don't want to i don't want to wash it for him but uh yeah and look at my poor sticker back here you can barely read it but we had an issue with a tires so let's talk about the tires you know 600 mile review or well, 600 miles on these tires you know i always had been complaining about tires on my foreman i could say the same thing about the rancher you know they're gonna last but this one got a and mine did too on my foreman it got a a puncture here i actually plugged it and then put this patch on the outside it probably looks like the hillbilly way of doing it, but it's holding, it's it's holding really well. We're gonna keep riding like that. But tires, guys, you know, I can always say something bad about the tires, and I've made a comment on my own thing. The tires are gonna end up lasting, I guarantee, longer than you think, but they do have their their issues. You know, it, it could be, it, it would be nice if they were a little bit more ply on it. Uh, yeah. Don't have much more to say about that other than tires, you know, a lot of guys might get mad because they're going to, it matters what you're doing. I shouldn't say that they'll get mad. It matters what you're doing. If you're being rough on it, you're going to hate these tires faster. If you're going to just take it easy and go for this normal little charting like we normally do, you know, they're going to last a while. I think mine are going to last a little while. 
but it's just whatever you do with it. So anyways, tires, always an issue on it. There's something else this ES system does. And I don't know if it's normal or not. I want you guys to listen to it. Let's see if you can hear it. Let me turn this on. And it almost like it makes like a whistling sound. And it's, I don't know how else to describe that. It sounds like it's like the, the transmission is like, I don't know, I shouldn't say the trans, yeah, I'd say transmission's like running. Cause no sooner you put it in gear, that noise goes away. So I'm thinking that's just the ES system in it. The electronic shift part that when it's in neutral, it's making that whining noise. Uh, yeah, that's, that's one of the things that I'm questioning how it is and if we're gonna have issues with that. We're not at its year yet, but we're really knocking on the door within a month. So we need to figure that out sooner than later. And like right now, it's actually acting like it's wanting to lunge a little bit. If anybody knows anything about that, let us know, man. But then once again, the ES system, you gotta love this. You just hit that up there. This little red knobby up here, push it down. Well, let's go up to second, because I know it'll do from second all the way down. So second, you hit that little red button, push it down right, right here, and it'll jump all the way to reverse. I'm telling you, man, sometimes I wish my foreman did that. I mean, it would if it was ES on it instead of foot shift. See, there it is again. It sounds just like it's just like, I think it's just like the clutch is just, that's how it, it's, it puts itself in neutral. That's like a neutral noise. I don't know, guys. I don't remember doing it a lot at the very beginning. So that's something, you know, like I said, we're at 600 miles. If you guys know anything about that, uh, you know, let us, let me know. Leave it in the comments, please, on it. Uh, same camo. That's all my foreman. This, this stuff's just kicking butt. It ain't. I, I like that it hides any kind of scratches. This one's got a few. Also, even though I don't know if you can see it with the mud all over it. Uh, like there's, that's actually scratches. It doesn't look like one, does it? Uh, some scratches right here. I mean, if I was far away, you wouldn't even think it was scratches. That scratches right there. It's the camo's outstanding on it. Uh, yeah, uh, this bike is right now needs the front differential and the rear differential changed fluid out i got to get him out here to do that i will probably not make a video of that because there's no need for me to make a video of it you guys i have no idea what that is you guys can go watch the video of the foreman having it done and it's the same thing on this honda rancher i don't think he's ever changed his air filter or cleaned it either that's something he needs to do also Yep, you guys think he needs to clean out his air filter? Yes, he does. So this this bike hasn't had none of that done up to 600 miles. Kind of might give you an idea of how long you can go before you have to have, have all that done. But it's just the fact that he's busy, he rides, he goes, you know. Uh, I think the last review we did on this was at 200 miles. Not much has changed other than it needs some maintenance done on it. Uh, I don't think he's ever even done the valves and it doesn't sound how the engine sounds Pfft, doesn't sound like it needs any kind of valves to be looked at uh i did read the fine print and honda ma manuals you guys might want to read it i'm not going to say it but you need to read real fine print what it says about checking your valves read it closely i had to read it over and over again and it's very cryptic and once you read it the right way you're going to go i'll be darn it might save you some money because uh I mean, let's put it this way simple. If you're not hearing knocking, you don't might not need to worry about it. So that's something to think about. But uh, yeah, he needs this this bike done. Uh, uh, or maybe he doesn't need it done. Yeah, let's put it that way. And yeah, Honda Rancher 4x4 ES 600 mile review is, it's an outstanding quad. It's gonna keep going. The only issue was a little puncture on the tire little bit of maintenance needed. Uh, we did put the 12 volt, there was a video of that. We did put the 12 volt on it. He loves having that on there. He can charge his phone while we're riding. He can fix uh, his flat with an air pump while we're riding. It's uh, That's probably the only upgrade he did on it. He's thinking of doing a light bar. He still wants to do a front winch on it. I don't know when he's gonna do that. I'm sure I will video it and help him when he does. But uh, yeah, 
once again, the old famous saying that I keep saying all the time, you cannot go wrong with Honda. Well, guys, as always, keep the powder dry. Uh, don't forget to go check out that uh, that channel, uh, East Coast Outside Adventures. His name's Mike, I believe. And also, don't forget, I will be doing the drawing on the 15th. If you're on Instagram following me, you're entered. And I will shoot you a message if you win. And, yeah. And then please keep watching and telling your friends. Because at 1,000 subs, there'll be another one. And I think I'm just going to make it from now on. Every 250 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. The more bigger I get, the bigger the giveaways will get, guys. So, uh, that's just my way of saying thank you for watching. And... I think I already said it, but I'll say it again. Keep the powder dry, and we'll see you next time on the trail. Thanks for watching. Arizona Kid out.